get ready for the world's most metallic bullet journal you have ever seen. I'm using this all black sketchbook that I had bought and DIY'd into a hardcover. If you missed out on that in my last episode, go ahead and check that out and then come back to here. If this is your first time bullet journaling, do not purchase the sketchbook. There is no grid, hence no bullet journal. I create the grid by hand for every spread that I have every month. All the utensils that I'm going to be using are going to be metallic. I really wanted it to have its own unique special vibe throughout the entire book since I've never seen anyone do an all metallic, all black bullet journal. The pigmentations in most of these markers are really why I'm using them in all of my videos. I went through tons and tons of different types of metallic markers and pens and pencils, and these are the top ones that I thought are going to work absolute best. This, of course, is the Jelly Roll. You can never go wrong with this. It's the one in white, number five. These metallic gel pens, you can use them whether it's black paper or white paper. They are super pigmented and show up super nice. And lastly, if you have any whiteboards or chalkboards and you want it to be a bit more fun, go ahead and pick these up. Again, super vibrant, super pigmented, and you won't regret them. They just wash off with a little bit of Windex and you're on to the next one. Starting off with my intro page, this is just going to be a simple logo page. You can already see an outline that I did. The graphite shows up very, very kind of harshly against the black paper, even though I sketch it out. Going in with my gold pen touch marker, you get to see just how vibrant these bad boys are. They have them in medium point is what I have. The tip is fairly rounded and it goes on super smooth. You can do loops and you can do all sorts of curls and it's not going to judder and it's not going to splatter the marker ink that's in there, which we will get with a lot of markers that aren't as high of quality. I'm just gonna go back into it and kind of thicken up some edges until I have the logo looking how I like it. My second page is going to be my key page, but I decided to title it my legend page. I'm using the gold color metallic gel pen, and I'm just going to use it to outline the image in the background, which is just an old tattered scroll with some gold highlights. For all of the lettering, I'm going to be using the same pen, but in silver. Here is a close-up of how it looks once I'm done coloring it in. So sorry that it looks like crap because I did not erase any of the graphite in the background. Also, I made my first mistake. I did not spell one of the words right, but I was able to go in with my black marker, cover up the metallic, and rewrite it again. For my next page, I'm going to be using this chalkboard paper to make a reusable grocery and checklist. I like having this in the front of my book, that way when I open it, I can just see what I need to get done for the day or what I need to buy, and I don't have to keep flipping through month by month just to see. Once I have everything measured out and cut down to size, I'm going to place it where I want it, and then use this silver tape that I got from Hobby Lobby for like 60 cents, it's by Heidi Swap, and use it around the border. My next spread is going to be all about my future log. I'm using this vellum paper I got at Hobby Lobby, and it's kind of a clear marble. 
I cut out six strips, kind of alternating the months to kind of give me a nice contrast. I'm going to be using this crafter's tape to use on either side. You'll notice on the book it's a little smudgy. I tried using a glue stick and you could definitely see all of the residue that was behind this vellum since it is clear and it just looked very nasty. So good thing I had this on hand. If you have this as well, I always recommend putting some paper in the background because if you don't get it on the edge completely, it is super sticky and will cause a lot of problems just like this one. My pages stuck together and I almost ripped this paper in half. My pages measure about five and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And like I mentioned, I create all my own grids. I believe my grid measurement is a quarter by a quarter. So each one of these strips measures at least six squares. I keep alternating until I have it just how I like it. With that all set, I go in with my coppered color pen touch marker and I begin labeling all the months. I was going to do alternation again, but just to keep it simple because there's a lot going on, everything is in copper. For all the months that are with the vellum background, I use this black uniball pen. However, if you're following along or you want to do something similar to my book, do not use pen on vellum. It is very, very slick and it will smudge very, very easy. So go ahead and use any fine tip marker to make it dry faster. All the months in black are used with the silver gel pen. All I'm doing right here is just highlighting some important dates I already know in advance that I need to look out for with the gold gel pen. Here is the start to my future log. For the last page, I'm just using this to create my 2018 goals. I don't want this page to look like too much because on the next page is where I'm going to start my January bullet journal and I don't want it to take away from that cover. With the gold pen I'm going in and just creating a very simple, very minimalist leaf pattern on either side. I'm going in and just marking down a few goals I already have in mind for my future. So here is my 2018 setup. I love how everything turned out, the colors are so vibrant, and I can't wait to start using this grocery list. I'll keep everyone posted as to how well it holds up from month to month. If you love the video, make sure to show your support. Also, any questions or comments, I'll always do my best to get back to them. Any recreations, tag me in the photo on Instagram. I'd love to see how I inspired your bullet journal.